Dalton Whitfield and White County coming off an emotionally draining win over number four North Hall, but at home for the second straight week for a seven AAA showdown with Dawson County. This game with some playoff seeding implications. The Warriors enter as the number two seed if the season ended today, meaning they could host a state playoff game for just the second time in school history. And the Tigers sit at number four right now. A loss would mean that they would have to win out to make the state playoffs for the second straight season. Needless to say, this game is huge for both sides. A rematch of last season's shootout win for the Warriors. So let's dive into the lights. Early first, Zach Buchan to Dalton Edwards on the far side. Stripped loose and there for the recovery is Dalton Whitfield. What a costly turnover this would prove to be. A.J. Vandenberg goes to work for the Warriors, as does Whitfield. They use the back often, and it pays dividends. Solid run after the reception leads to the game's first points. Whitfield again drags the defender at the end of the 14-yard TD run. White County draws first blood, 7-zip early on. Minutes later, the lefty Vandenberg looking to pass. Hit as he throws, and what goes up must come down. Kyle Hayes comes away with the INT, right place, right time. Same drive, second quarter. First big play of the night for the Tigers. It's going to be Chris Saylor. He would have a big game. Turns the corner and finally forced out after the big pickup. However, this will happen next. The third fumble for Dawson County. This one again lost to White County. Adam Johnson on the recovery. The Tigers are beating themselves. 7 0 at the break. White County adds to the lead. Wesley Saunders makes good on the 35 yard three pointer. 10 0 with time fading. Saylor again with a big run here for the Tigers, but every time they get something going, something bad happens. Enter Coley Loudermilk. Buchan just about gets it there if it weren't for Loudermilk. Fourth takeaway for the Warriors. Fourth quarter still 10 0. Fourth down in their own territory. Tigers go for it. Buchan, to who else but Saylor, completely changes the game. Loses his lid on the end of the play, but well worth it. Still work to be done, and Jackson Putnam more than happy to help out a key run that gets Dawson inside the red zone, where senior Max Muldoon is usually automatic. 31 ticks out. It's a one possession game yet again, with 9.36 to go. Time for the Warriors to put an end to this. It starts with Maurice Sutton. Picks a good time to step it up a notch. 27 yards on the pitch, so they hit repeat, but shuffle to the other side. Similar result for Sutton as Whitfield will polish this drive off with a short yardage TD. Pushes the lead 17 to three with a little time left. Should be game, right? But well, don't tell that to Chris Saylor and the Tigers as Whitfield will watch helplessly from the sidelines. Check this out, Saylor, you will see him field the kick at the five yard line. Gets some good blocks in there. Somehow makes it through this maze of would-be tacklers. Pretty impressive. And then the next thing you know, he just gets in a foot race to the end with Saunders. And you know who's going to win that one. 95 yards on the return. Just like that, Dalton Whitfield's TD is negated. 17-10 as the clock dwindles down. Dawson gets the ball back one more time. This play would end any hopes, though. Buchan taken down inside the one. White County moves to 3-1 in region play. Dawson now has to win out to make the state playoffs.